six-year-old Sherilyn Lee is the record holder for fastest addition of 10-digit numbers in Singapore. Looks intimidating, doesn't it? Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. <laughs> no, not right now. No idea. Yeah, yeah. I think I wouldn't even consider mental calculation here. Yeah. Many were full of praise when told that six-year-old Sherilyn did the sums mentally without any technical aid. I think she's a genius. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, that's, that's insane. <laughs> well, for a five-year-old to do that, that's an incredible feat. Very, very genius. That's incredible. that's incredible. In school, we're always told everything we learn is useful later in life. So does arithmetic figure into our daily activities? Let's say every day you have to, like count money, you have to uh, plan your time, make arrangements. Pay at NTUC, then you get your count, your change, so you know your change. Even in normal uh, in, in NTUC or shopping malls, and then the cashier will need quick, um, we need to have quick maintenance sum to return the customer their, their change and everything. Yeah, I do uh, manage, uh, try to find out what I really want to buy and what should I really um, save. Now they may not have Sherilyn's skills, but their kids too could be just like her. Do you think that next time when you have children, would you want them to be good at math? Yeah, of course. It's, um, it's a very important tool in life. We send them for tuitions yeah, when they are very young. And maybe teach them how to count since very young. Uh. Maybe the best possible tuition centers. If uh, it's to the child's interest, then I guess that's great. Just let... <laughs> And the education system takes course, uh, yeah. If they have an interest in it, then yeah, I, I won't force them to like be a master at these sort of numbers. No, I don't wouldn't be as much as other life skills like uh, being social, like having a uh, a lot of friends and being able to communicate well. While it is great that kids like Sherilyn can solve complex mathematical problems, they are, after all, still kids. And sometimes, it is just all they want to be.